Yeah, just let her know in the middle of the interview. All right. Um, what is the scariest thing you have done in your life? Scariest thing I've done? I don't know. Scary is a relative term. So it could be like, there's two things. I'll detail the two. Just there's like, you know, like physical danger is scary. Or, you know, when you're like having like a terror or something. The One of like the sketchiest and scariest thing to do, we did like last summer, we did like cliff jumping. Just oh my like God. Fun. That was pretty, that was pretty messed up. What could go wrong with that? Yeah, I don't know if I'll do it again. Looking back on it, it wasn't very bright, but I did have a lot of fun. I was pretty scared at first. God. It's so that's probably because like, you could get killed, it sounds like. Yeah, no, that, that's why it was scary. Um, but really fun. I would, would, do I do it again without, like, you know, supervision? Probably not. But, and then, um, but it was fun. So, and then, like, mentally scary, I guess. It's pretty unnerving moving into college. I remember last year. That was yeah. the first time in my life where I felt like, you know, pretty, I mean, it worked out great. I have tons of friends now. I love school. I can't wait to go back and, like, it's just I just love Virginia Tech and the campus and everything about it. But I remember when I first got there. The first night was the only really hard night I had in college ever, like emotionally. I was just like, it was just so sad. Cause mom and dad wrote me these nice letters, you know. It was like so sad to read them. It was like your home's no, my home's no longer your home. You know, you're gonna be moving out and stuff. And now I only spend three months of the year here, pretty much. Mm-hmm. And then soon, eventually, you know, five or six years from now, I'll probably be living in my own apartment somewhere. And that's cool, doing whatever. So it's just that was pretty. That was pretty scary. That was a scary moment, I would say, because I was there's so so much uncertainty. You know, I was going in with a major that I ended up changing. You know, I didn't really right. Know. That's right. You're a business major. Yeah, I really know what I wanted to do with my degree. I felt kind of like I wouldn't say lost in life because it was pretty early on to be lost in life. You know, like 18 going into college, with so many opportunities. But it was like pretty unnerving knowing that there's, you know, if something goes wrong. There's no one like immediately there to help you out. Mom and dad are four hours away, and it had never been like that before. Mom and dad had always been there. So that was pretty ridiculous, but, but yeah, those are guesses are scary. Yeah, I remember that was a very emotional day for all of us, my God. Um, what would be worse, giving a pint of blood or eating a very hot pepper knowing you would throw up afterwards? <laughs> Uncle Gene, where did you get? I mean, I, I, I would, worse is obviously the pepper. I give a pint of blood all day long. I don't care, I don't give a shit about a pint of blood. Anyone can have my blood. I'm not gonna eat a hot pepper. Well, yesterday, Landon, yesterday, one of my, so my friends are also, some of them are kind of degenerate. So, so yesterday, yesterday, if Landon, if you're watching this, you're, oh my God. Yesterday, my friend Landon bought this thing called like the world's hottest chip. So it's like a ghost pepper chip. And uh, he was doing this thing, cause we went go-karting and he was like, he was like, uh, if you, if I get a better lap time than you on one of the races, you have to eat the chip. But if uh, you get better lap times than me, I have to eat the chip. So I beat him in all the lap times. And then he ended up not eating the chip. But I looked at this chip and I watched some YouTube videos. Like, that looked just miserable. I can't imagine. I don't, I don't like spicy foods to begin with. And uh, I, could, I would probably, I would probably, you know, my airway would close or something. It'd be horrible. <laughs> That's awful. Uncle Gene, where'd you come up with that one? Um, do good. I know the answer to this. Do good-looking girls make you nervous if you have to talk to them? I know you're just no. like me with this one. I love good-looking girls. <laughs> they love me. Yeah, that's right. The, do you ever get nervous talking to hot chicks? No. No, I don't. I love talking. That's my, that's like my favorite pastime at school because there's so many of them. You go, you can, I mean, talking to girls is like a forgotten art form. I mean, most girls are impressed nowadays when you go up and talk to them in person. Like, I, I mean, multiple times in school I'll be in like a restaurant. Because in college it's kind of different in the real world like here. Like here you're not really going to be, it's not like a uh, college town like vibe or scene. So you can't just like walk up to girls if you think they're hot because it's kind of odd. It's like you don't really do that around here. But at school you can do whatever you want. I mean, you... You walk, like you know you're kind of your own person, so you just walk up. I mean, I have like go-to line like, "Hey." My my whole thing that I've discovered is conversation that facilitates more conversation. So if you're gonna if you're gonna make a statement or ask a question, make sure that question has like more questions to come. Make sure that statement <laughs> is oh is very broad and open-ended to continue the conversation. Because the one thing girls don't like are guys that are um, when the conversation gets like dry, you know, and it's kind of because that. The only way to be successful is to have no awkward silences throughout and then make the first conversation swift and like, um, and right to the point, like swift to the point, like it should either be, can I have your phone number, can I have your Snapchat, or we should hang out sometime. And it shouldn't be, do you want to hang out sometime, because that's like an open-ended question. It sounds better if you're more confident, be like, we should hang out sometime. Man, it's like a how-to, uh, you can put that up as a self-help video for shy guys, like on YouTube, for sure. Yeah, maybe. That's awesome. Yeah. If you were going out 
If you, I'm sorry, if you were going to ask one girl out, just the two of you, who would it be right now? Oh. Ooh, that's tough. Mm, probably this movie star named Margaret Robbie. She's, like, so hot. She's so hot. Yeah, I don't know. She's, like, my childhood crush. She's just, like, the hottest girl, like, on the face of the planet. If I could ask her how I would do it, I don't know if she would say yes, but I would ask her. Awesome. Well, I think those are the... The questions, anything else you want to tell your future self or any other important thoughts to document? Uh, this will probably be, I mean, your kids will literally watch this. I know that seems like nuts, but I mean, think about me. When I was sitting there in 1978, <laughs> do you think I'd have my, no, I'd be watching it with my college-age kids, you know? Yeah, it's general thoughts about, like, society as a whole right now. I'm concerned for, I'm concerned about a few things that I think I fairly often. The primary one is climate change. You know, that's the foremost issue right now in my opinion because as much as you have all this social crap it doesn't matter blah 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 you know like everyone's offended and all that kind of stuff you know it's all mixed in there not that their feelings aren't important but there are more there are more important issues like animal cruelty you know like preserving the environment and stuff like that and I think that's getting overlooked you have all these famous people making gigantic if everyone had the, the carbon footprint of your average famous person the world would be dead by now you know there's no more ozone so, so you have all these people preaching to us about blah 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 watch your carbon footprint this you know, watch your car with that. It's like, you're taking private jets around the world. Don't lecture me on what to do, you know? <laughs> 100%. So, but I'm sure by the time I'm watching this, we'll have done, you know, severe, severe damage to the environment. It doesn't look like there's a turning point. Um, socially, from a social aspect of the country, who knows where we'll be at, you know? It just seems like everyone... It just seems like no one wants to be happy anymore. That's the general, like, that's the general consensus. Like, overall, it just seems like everyone wants to find little reasons to be unhappy and... America provides so much for everybody, but everyone tries to, like, nitpick at it, which concerns me. And that's eventually going to lead to, like, further divide in the country, because right now there's all kinds of tension. There's there's most, predominantly right now, it's 2021, there's racial tension. It seems like the, the growing tension between black people and white people and white people versus every other race is just, you know, exponentially expanding, which is scary to think about for the future. Um, but besides, like, the variety of social issues and climate change, it's just eventually going to kill everything. Like, you know, life's pretty good right now. So. Now, ask you, lastly, what are your favorite activities? What's your favorite stuff to do right now at, in uh, 19? 19, I really like hanging out with my friends. I like biking with you. I like jujitsu. Um... Scuba? Scuba diving. I like anything outdoors pretty much. Like, literally anything outdoors. And outdoors and hanging out with my friends, like my perfect, like, you know, bonfire nights with my friends. Or like, just anything outdoors is what I like to do pretty much. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot. We'll do another one in a few years. Yeah, that'll be cool. To work. Good luck this coming year. We're super proud of you. You've done an amazing job, and we're just ultra proud of who you are and how you're doing. It's, it's, um, it's impressive all the way around, and we're super proud of you.